Hey there everyone, it's Jessica from DomesticatedMe.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I am a beauty obsessed, fashion loving, DIY project making Latina mom from New York City and I blog and vlog at Domesticated Me. This is basically the part two to my Sephora vlogs. Um, I covered the actual event, Sephora, Sephora, House of Beauty event in my previous video and today I'm gonna show you everything that I received in my gift bag. But before I open up the gift bag, um, I forgot to mention that one of the great perks about being at the event was that most of the brands, I think, had samples to give out. So again, if you got that $99 ticket, you really got bang for your buck because there were a ton of samples, great photo ops, more photo ops than you can imagine. Honestly, I don't know. They did an amazing job for that. They really did. But again, brands had a ton of samples to give out. So you walked away. If you bought nothing at the event, actually, I only bought one thing at the event, but even if you bought nothing, you were still walking home with a nice little bag of products. So I'm going to show you some of the samples that I got. Um, actually, I'll run through them really quickly. But again, these are all samples, not part of the actual gift bag. I will get to the gift bag in just a moment. So first, Pinrose. Pinrose is a up and coming new brand to Sephora. It's woman owned, it's small, but it's growing and I'm going to support this brand. Definitely look into them. Their perfumes are beautiful. And again, it's like woman owned, woman run, and I definitely wanna support brands like this. So this is um, Pinrose. They have beautiful scents. They gave uh, samples, and I think this actually has all nine fragrances in this, so great. Great little sample. They were, again, photo ops. You could take them yourself, but then there were little ones like this where you were able to print them out or they were emailed to you. So I love that. This one was from Atelier Cologne. So set that aside. Here's a good one from Drunk Elephant. This one, so cute, comes with sunglasses. Adorable. <laughs> um, ooh, pins. You were able to get lots of pins at that event. Uh, cute little pin. Um, a sticker back here, I think. And then a sample of their Sea Tangle multivitamin eye cream. That's a good one. Um, this is, ooh, this was a good sample. This is from Glow Recipe. This is their watermelon treatment. So it's a mask. Um, that you put on at night, an overnight mask, and then you clean off, and then there is a moisturizer. This is a five-day supply of both products, so that, really good. A ton of perfumes. Um, so let me show you more of those. This is from Killian. Um, this is, oh, this is from Youth to the People. This is their kale and green tea spinach vitamins face wash. This one is very popular. This is a green company. Defin this was one of the most popular brands or one of the most popular products that I've seen at Sephora. So that is a nice supply. This is from It Cosmetic Secret Sauce. This is a miraculous anti-aging moisturizer. Sample of that. Dior Mascara. This is from Dry Bar, a small dry shampoo. Obviously, there were also experiences at the event. You could actually get your hair done, um, touched up, makeup touched up, great stuff. This is from Tatcha, Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. La Mer, this is their uh, moisturizer. This is a perfume sample from Victor Rolf. This is from Ole Hendrickson. This is their Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Naked Cherry Pin from Urban Decay. Gucci Bloom Perfume Sample. There's a lot. <laughs> Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. I have, I have this conditioner, it's great. Highly recommend it. Use the People Pin, told you lots of pins. Belief, this is their Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. Gravity Mud Firming Treatment from uh, Glam Glow. Perfume from Tom Ford. 
what's this? I remember what this is. This is a perfume sample from Replica. This is from Fresh. This is their deep hydrating face cream. Um, this is the Mega Illuminating Moisturizer from Glam Glow. This is Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm from IGK. Body Wash from Method Body. Pop sockets and then pins. Sephora was handing out lots of pins. This is a uh, Maracuja Oil from Tarte. Okay. That covers most, I'm sure there are more products in there, but that covers most of the samples that I received. Okay, moment you've been waiting for, the gift bag. Again, I purchased a gold key, uh, which was $449. Part of the perk, one of the perks from buying that ticket was that I was to receive a gift bag with $700 worth of products. Let's see if that is actually what I received, and then I'll tell you if the golden key was worth it. So, let's see. I'm gonna start pulling out products. Natasha Denona. If you guys know Sephora, you know that Natasha Denona is one of the most expensive brands featured at Sephora. This is their Lila palette. This comes with 15 shadows. I will list all of the prices down in the description box below. Gorgeous, beautiful, kind of matches my sweater here. Beautiful. Oh wow, these are gorgeous shadows. Absolutely beautiful. You get, you have mattes and shimmer metallics in here. This is gorgeous, this is beautiful. Ooh, Velour Lashes. This is, would I lie, no trim Velour Lashes. Wow, a clean, a full-size clean perfume. This is 3.4 ounces. The scent is Aqua Neroli. A full-size Belief Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. This is a soft matte liquid lipstick from Lawless. This is a brand that I haven't actually heard of before or used. Cool, very cool packaging. Beautiful packaging. A whey texturizing hairspray. 4.6 ounces of full sized texturing hairspray from Whey. This is from Supergoop. It is an SPF 40 unseen sunscreen. This is a makeup brush from Sephora. It is their Pro Highlight number 98. This is from Briogeo. It is their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette. Color-coded eyeshadows. This comes with four eyeshadows. So let's see what colors are included in this quad. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous. Honestly, I feel, you don't know how bad I feel about saying all that about my Charlotte Tilbury class, but I had to be honest, but I love her. I love her brand. Her products are bomb. They're amazing. I hope she doesn't hate me. I hope the brand doesn't hate me. I really... This is Bite Beauty's Agave Lip Mask. I am so thankful to receive this because I am running low on mine. I've purchased this before. It's amazing. This really moisturizes your lips. It leaves them so soft love this. I'm excited for this one. This is Kat Von D's tattoo, dagger tattoo liner. Dagger. I love their tattoo liners. I, It's my favorite liquid liner. If you guys are subscribed to me, you know that already and I've been dying to try the dagger. So I'm really, really thankful that it's in this and excited to try it out. This is from Laneige. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. This is their lip sleeping mask. This is from Benefit and it is their bad girl bang 
mascara, bigger, better, voluminizing mascara. This is a Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in the number 002. It's a lip, lip plumper in apricot. This is from Kaja, I think that's how it's pronounced. This is a cheeky stamp, blendable blush. Oh, I've heard about these, I just saw these. Basically, it stamps like a little heart onto your cheek. It's like, it comes with a little stamper, so you pick up product, you stamp it onto your cheek, and then you're able to blend it out. Very cute. This is in the color Saucy, 02. I have to open this up, it's so cute. So here's the little stamper part. So this is the little sponge that stamps the blush onto your cheeks. And then here is the actual blush. This is from Fenty Beauty and is their Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the color Madame. <laughs> wow, beautiful packaging. So I'm down to the last two products. This is from Marc Jacobs and it is their Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. It is. And number 50, do you. Do you? It's a question. Do you? <laughs> um, this is quite large. And heavy. Amazing. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous packaging. Okay. Shall we? Gotta try it. fingers I might as well just put it on my face right oh my gosh that's beautiful that's a lot wow <laughs> that's all right that's a lot <laughs> oh my gosh that is blinding that's beautiful though all right sorry if this is not blended out super well but i don't have a mirror Woo! that is beautiful oh my gosh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous, that's beautiful. All right, sorry if it's not blended out super well, but all I had on me was my phone. And then the last item in the gift bag is this product right here from Pat McGrath Labs. It is their lipstick in the color Luxe Traveler, number 418, McGrath Muse. Okay, packaging is pretty cool. Here is the lipstick bullet, <laughs> it's beautiful. Ooh, gorgeous red. And it was quite fitting that my last item was from Pat McGrath because the only thing that I purchased was from Pat McGrath Labs. And it is this. This is their mini matte trans um, collection. This is their Color Blitz Trio. And it comes with three mini lipsticks in the color Elson, Obsessed, and Full Panic. I'm not gonna open this here because I'm not sure if I wanna keep this for myself or give this as a gift. This product was selling out at Sephora and basically why I bought it. If you tell me something's selling out, limited edition, I'm basically in. So I purchased this. I was going to purchase a Sephora lipstick story because what they were doing there was, well, I showed in my vlog. You selected a photo, you picked out your lipstick, you selected a photo from like your Instagram and then they wrapped that picture around the lipstick. So you had one that was personalized to you. I forgot to go back to that booth, so I didn't get it. There was also YSL was inscribing lipsticks, which is also a really cool little experience that you could only get at Sephora. So that was also really fun. So there you go. That was everything in my gift bag. I will list every single product and add up the items so that you see how much this gift bag was in fact that what its value actually is. And we shall see. All in all, was the $450 worth it? I think that is only an answer that, it's only a question that we individually can answer. For me, was it worth it? Um, I think I would have been happier. 
I think I would have been just as happy with a bronze ticket. Um, all these products were amazing, but I am a YouTuber. I have a lot of more products than any average person. I know that for a fact because I have closets full of them. I have cabinets full of them. So for me, um, the experience was amazing. I did it and I'm happy that I did it. I'm glad that I did it. I got the full experience and I got the gold package for you. That might not be worth it for you. For me, I wanted the experience, I wanted the top tier ticket to experience it all, so for me and for what I'm doing, uh, featuring it on my channel, broadcasting, everything that was included, for me it was worth it. For you that might not be the answer. I think $99 tickets are a great deal, you just have to show up early enough so that you can get towards the front of the line and get in fast, but you walked away with a ton of really good samples, you got the same experiences and photo ops and opportunity to buy exclusive products than everyone else. Um, the silver was still a good ticket because you were still able to get on that advanced entrance line, you just had to be there early enough. Now you know, be there early enough so that you can get there in the front of the line even though you're still in the advanced ticket. Would I purchase it again? Probably not. I knew that I wouldn't purchase it for all the others. This was my one shot. Um, would I come back to Sephora? Yeah, I think I would come back to Sephora, but I probably wouldn't buy a gold ticket because I think the major perks just didn't work out for me. The advance ticket line was the same as a silver, so I could have had the same with silver. The fast passes, I could have just used the one to leave faster and I would have been happy with that, which comes with the silver, tic uh, with the silver ticket. Um, the products are all amazing and cool. The bag was nice. The gift bag was nice, I have to say. It really is. The Natasha Denona um, palette, the Charlotte Tilbury palette, the Marc Jacobs highlighter. Like, the bag was amazing. I'm sorry if I didn't give it enough enthusiasm. The bag was absolutely amazing. But I don't need all these products. So for me, I wouldn't buy a golden ticket again. I would probably buy the silver, to be completely honest. But if you are someone who's not a YouTuber, who, who you don't have closets and cabinets full of products, it's, it's a great gift bag. So the value is what the value is. So up to you what you would consider, what you would, would consider worth it, and what you would feel comfortable with, depending on your budget, your lifestyle, what your needs are, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't regret a thing. I'm so happy that I went, that I was there for the very first Sephora. I'm so glad that I went. The gift bag was awesome. I will use all of this. And anything that I don't use, I will use, I will give away in a future giveaway. You guys know that I'm constantly doing giveaways now, back to back to back. So anything that I'm not planning to use will be included in the next giveaway or one of the next giveaways. So I had a great time. I really did. The weekend was amazing. I did so much and I will be doing a vlog just on the trip itself. Um, I'll be doing a vlog about some of the stuff that I did, some of the stuff that I ate. I had a great time, so I really did have a fabulous, fabulous time and it was because of Sephora. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and click that little bell icon down below so that you're notified as soon as my videos go out. I make new videos every single week and don't forget to use that comment section below to ask any questions, make any requests, or just say hi. I'd love to hear from you guys. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thanks again for watching.